Hey guys, we're going to be doing Unit 7, Lesson 1.8 today, which is really just a review of multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. And I'm going to do this so you can see me. There you go. And Jovi. So Jovi and I are down in the basement. This is my basement. This is where I've been recording all of uh, my lessons for you. And my basement also includes a oh, Papa Shot. Kind of looks like Grant's Papa Shot a little bit, except mine... Mine doesn't light up. And we got, um, my basement is mostly Jillian's playroom. And uh, if you look beyond the couch, you'll see that sweet princess Jillian has destroyed the carpet with dried paint and slime and putty into the carpet. And uh, Mr. Ausland is not very, very pleased about, about this. Um, also over there, you might notice, um, I'll be really impressed if you can tell me, anybody aside from Reggie Miller, you should hopefully know Reggie Miller, but maybe there is a movie that is, um, I have an autograph from an actor from one of my favorite movies. Um, there's also a professional wrestler, and there's a hall of, two Hall of Fame baseball players and one of them is from the Phillies, and one of them is from the Yankees. So maybe you can even pause this video and ask your parents to come and see and help you out. Message me and let me know who you see on my wall. Aside from Reggie Miller, I feel like you should know Reggie Miller. Plus his name is there. Get a little closer. Picture is a Hall of Famer from the Phillies. Hard to see from where it is. The hitter is from the Yankees. And I'll stop talking baseball now. Just remember of, the word of means multiplication. You're multiplying, okay? And remember when you multiply by a fraction, like half of, for example, when you multiply by a fraction, if you say half of something, you're going to get less. Half of something, half of 12 equals 6, right? One half times 12 equals 6. When you multiply by a fraction, the product becomes smaller. Multiply by 12 and your answer is now 6. 6 is less than 12. When you multiply by a fraction, remember your product is less than the whole number. When you multiply by a fraction, your answer gets smaller. So, for example, in the workbook, uh, the first problem says Janet runs one-fourth of a half-mile run. So, one-half-mile run. Janet runs one-fourth of that. Of means multiply. So we're doing one-half, one-fourth times one-half. One-fourth times one-half. Here we have one-half of the mile, right? We know Janet runs one-fourth of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide one-half into fourths. One-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. And she runs one-fourth of it, so we're going to shade in that one fourth. All together, we broke it into eighths. Of those eighths, one fourth of one half is this amount right there, which is one eighth of the entire mile. So all together, we have one out of eight. One fourth of one half is one eighth. Janet has run one eighth of a mile. We could also multiply across. That's the cheat code. That's the easy way without really understanding why. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 eighth. You can multiply across, but the best thing conceptually is to understand why. We had 1 half of a mile. We found 1 fourth of that half. And we found 1 eighth is 1 fourth of 1 half of a mile. Let's try another one. Let's try another one similar to that, and that's um, four-fifths of three-fourths. So here it says, Talisha owns th four-fifths of a section of land. She plants green beans on three-fourths of her land. What fraction of the entire section is planted with green beans? Three-fourths of her land. So really, it's three-fourths of four-fifths. Okay, so let's write it this way then, three-fourths of four-fifths. So let's take a piece of land 
and break it into fifths. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. That's her. That's Talisha's land. Four fifths of uh, of a section of land, and three fourths of that land is green beans. Maybe one fourth is something else. So we divide her land. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. We're going to shade in three fourths because it's three fourths of the land. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths. The rest of it, I guess, is is a pumpkin. I don't know. This part is not her land, but it's part of the entire acreage or whatever. So we have. Three fourths of four fifths is one, two, three fourths of four fifths. So altogether, we've got one, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty equal pieces. And there's one, two, three, four, eight, twelve twentieths. So three fourths of four fifths is twelve twentieths, which, if you simplify that, I'll put my dog down. If you simplify twelve twentieths, you can divide them both by four. Twelve divided by four is three. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 3 fourths of 4 fifths is 3 fifths. It got smaller. You could also multiply across. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20. 12 twentieths, 12 twentieths. Same answer. But we had 4 fifths of the land. 3 fourths of that 4 fifths is this amount right here, which is 12 out of 20 altogether. Now I want you to try two thirds of three eighths. I want you to try this. Um, obviously you could do this just by multiplying across, but I would also like you to try this on your own by drawing a picture to help you figure out what two thirds of three eighths would equal, knowing that it's gonna be less than three eighths because you're finding part of three eighths. So here we have three out of eight, and you divide that into thirds, one third, Two thirds, three thirds. Let's shade in one third, two thirds. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Six out of twenty-four, which is two times three is six. Three times eight is twenty-four. And in simplest form, of course, that's one fourth. Six divided by six is one. Twenty-four divided by six is four. In simplest form, it would be one four. Hopefully, that's the same answer that you got. But let's also do some multiplying fractions times whole numbers. Five eighths times four hundred. Here it says the spectacular bike race is four hundred miles long. Tyler has completed five eighths of multiplication of same thing, right? Find out what five eighths of four hundred is. So here we could say, okay, let's find out what one eighth of 400 is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One eighth of 400. Eight goes into 45 times. So eight goes into 455. Eight goes in, into 450 times. So each of those eighths is worth 50. So one eighth of 400 is 50. Five of those eighths, 50, 100, 150, 200 is 250. So five eighths of 400 has to be 250 because one eighth of 400 was 50. Five of those eighths would be 250. And that makes sense. Four eighths is half. Half of 400 is 200. Five eighths would be a little bit more than half. 250 is a little bit more than 200. Let's try another one. This one looks kind of similar to a 10 minute math we've done recently. Three and a half times 240. Well, we could say 240 times three is 720. And then half of 240. We're doing three times 240 and then one half times 240. One half times or one half of 240 is 120. Put them together. And you get 840. I'd like you to try this one on your own. 60 times 5 sixths 
or five-sixths of 60. Figure out what you think that equals. What is five-sixths of 60 or 60 times five-sixths? You could think of 60 and break it into sixths. One-sixth of 60 is 10. Six-sixths of 60 is 60, of course. Five of those sixths, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, has to be 50. Your answer has to be 50. Now, uh, another cheat code would be thinking that 60 is the same as 60 divided by 1, 60 over 1. You could multiply across. 60 times 5 is 300. 1 times 6 is 6. What's 300 divided by 6? Well, that's 50. Same answer. Okay, guys, use our mini lesson today to help you um, on, your, uh, on your Canvas assignment. We'll see you at 3 p.m. today for some Zoom action to practice this in small groups with Mr. Single and Mr. Auslander. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. I will see you at 3 p.m.